Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Um, so today I'll be doing a pick a card reading. So we have one, uh, it's a white um, swan. And then two, we have a frog, a lucky frog. And three, we have a multicolored swan. So you can pick either one, two or three. And the question is, why is he not speaking to me? So why, why have I been ghosted? So what's going on with, with your counterpart? So we're going to shuffle this and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So why is he ghosting? So for number one, this is your reading. Let's see what the angels would like to tell us. Okay, so those who chose number one. Um, I see here that this person is really, he's really confused at this time. Um, he's trying to make a decision. He has a choice to make between two things. And one of them has to do with somebody um, who is very jealous. Um, and the other, I feel the other individual is very um, clear, like they are carefree. Um, I see two separate energies. So he has a decision to make between two people here. And this person is trying to plan something ahead. Um, I see something about making some sort of plan to either make a move or to make major life changes that he's not disclosing to anyone. He's also trying to figure things out. Like I, I see this person, he's not quite, um, it feels like he's not quite getting it. Like there's something that seems obvious to the person who's watching this. If this resonates with you, um, when you see something, you for you, it's obvious. But for this person, it's kind of like they are unable to see something. Like it's not obvious to them. It takes them time to figure things out. And I see here that is one of the reasons why it's difficult to make any kind of movement, um, to show any kind of expressions or emotions towards, towards you. Um, I see here that he hasn't quite figured out yet about what is the right direction to take, what is the right decision to make. Um, I feel like he's running away from, it feels like a procrastination. It feels like he's kind of running away from that, that responsibility of this is the, this is the time where divine, um, the divine is showing this individual that it's time for you to make some movement. It's time for you to make some changes. And it feels like this person is trying to avoid changes at all costs because this person is very, um, comfortable comfortable even if if the situation they may be in is not um the way that they imagined it to be but it's kind of like they're comfortable of the situation they're comfortable of where they're at now um but one thing i see it it doesn't have anything to do with um like ego um one may feel that it might be that he's he's a little bit prideful. He doesn't want to be the first one to speak. But it, it feels like he has a lot of things going on in his own personal life. His own... Feels like he needs to heal some things um, and release some bondages. So these are... These bondages could have... It may have to do with old patterns, old way of thinking... Um, things that didn't work out, feelings of being a failure, feeling lack. Um, what if this doesn't work out? There's a fear here and that that's keeping him held back. So the fear and that, that confusion of what's the right decision to make. Deep 
down his inner knowing he knows that there there is more to life than what he is experiencing that there is some happiness out there for him um and that the person that he is meant to be with is very rare very precious and very loving and he cannot forget this person though he is not in communication with them but he cannot forget them either and i feel like at this time the distance the ghosting is only because of the confusion and because of this kind of like stuck that stuck energy of of being being bond to some sort of like emotion such as fear like he's not able to really release, release the fear the fear of the unknown the fear of what will the outcome be so it does require a bit of strength and a bit of courage and self love on his part but it seems like he is not ready yet so whoever that resonates for that's number 1 so i'm going to clear out the tray okay so those who picked the lucky frog number 2 this is your reading so why did he ghost you how could he how could he do that okay Let's see no maybe okay so number 2 for whoever chose the frog so the reason why he ghosted is because He's trying to get rid of some kind of um behavior. So this was somebody who was a playful energy. It could have been somebody who was in and out of relationships. It was somebody who didn't want you to know that he was also interested in other people, meeting other people. He was not interested in let me commit to one person. He I see here the energy was very um playful carefree um not one to settle down not one to um start a serious relationship this was somebody who could not um see the future up ahead and um, they were just living in the now and they were just trying to enjoy what they felt life was all about like their idea of having fun so this was somebody who was very playful they didn't take relationship quite seriously um i can see here that they loved attention loved attention from um other people um they like getting praised like oh you look really good they they like the idea of other people having some sort of attraction towards them or some sort of like if somebody had a crush on them they felt like oh i like I like this feeling. I like being wanted or being noticed. They love the attention of it. It made them feel like they were popular. It fed into their ego. This was somebody who um didn't really um understand the meaning of love. Um they've never experienced that feeling that the depth of love, like what it really feels like. Um it feels like a kind of like immature um crush type emotion that they had or currently are trying to release um this is a person who's trying to get out of that that habit that routine because it's been something that they've been into for quite some time and it's something that they know um it's not going to be beneficial for them in the long run it's not a way of living that they they would want for themselves for the future this is somebody who's um going to make a decision about restoring balance in their life starting with themselves and then also restoring balance within within their own social group so could be family members friends trying to keep a healthy lifestyle um trying to i feel like they will try to be single 
um, they need that alone time because of being in in and out of um, connections or being drawn to other other people, other options. It's put them in this kind of like confusion and a mixture of different kind of energies. And once this um, once this individual steps away, steps back and tries to uh, focus on oneness with self and try to, you know, be in their sing singleness, then they can restore the balance within their own energy. Okay, so I see here that he he recognizes that there needs to be some change on his part. And right now he just needs that alone time, that single singleness time. And there may be some individuals who some females or whatever the case may be, just take as it re resonates, that may approach him. He may get other offers, but he will be at a place where, no, this is my time and this is the time for me. I need to put that time and energy into myself first. So that's why um, he's being kind of like quiet. It feels like ghosting, but it feels like at the same time, it's like um, renewal of the self to restore balance within self. So that was number two. And number three. So those who chose number three, the multicolored swan. This is your reading. So why did he ghost you? Let's see. Why did he ghost? Okay. The reason why this person has ghosted is because he's dealing with a lot of things right now. This is somebody who is um, completely out of balance um, in his personal life. And I see here that there's a lot of baggage. There's a lot of holding back. Um, there is a, I feel like a karmic energy that's involved in this um, person's life as well. Um, this could be the current partner that they're with or just take it as it resonates, but there's somebody who's holding them back from moving forward. Um, this person, he is feeling very sad. Um, he's feeling very, um, feels like a bit defeated, weak. Um, he doesn't have the strength right now to restore any connection um, with the person that he loves. And I see here that the reason why he ghosted, he doesn't want to speak at this time is because he doesn't want you to know that he's going through all of this. And I feel like he can, it feels like he is not only embarrassed, but he doesn't want, he doesn't feel like it's fair for anyone else to, um, to know or to experience what he's experiencing. Like he feels like I have to deal with this myself. I need to figure this thing out for myself. I need to get out of this situation on my own by myself. Um, he will be turning to God to prayer. Uh, there is going to be some sort of, um, he will ask for help eventually from loved ones. But this situation, whatever it is, it will transform him into somebody quite stronger. And when he has that strength within him, that's when he will start to change. That's when he will start to think about what is important in life, who is important to him in life. And he will start to think about how to communicate his feelings towards you how he really feels about you. Um, the, thought, the thought of you has never left his mind. It's just that he had to put that, it feels like he had to put that on hold 
because he's dealing with whatever this mess is. Because it feels like he got himself stuck in a very messy situation where he he's just thinking how to be free from this and how to become more stronger more he doesn't want you to see him as he is right now he doesn't want you to hear his voice the sound of his voice because he knows that you know him well he knows that if you were to hear his voice that you will you will sense you will know that there's something not quite right there and he knows that in order for me to um get balance restore balance in my life i need to figure this out first clear this energy out first before i reconnect with the one i love he doesn't want to um, bring anyone into this whatever this is but it looks like it's a very heavy um, low vibrational environment it's something that you will not want to even be a part of and he he really it feels like he's trying to protect you from feeling the emotions that he's feeling and because it feels uh, like a lot of sadness here whatever it is it, it's quite heavy and he needs to if the divine is trying to show him things that can help build him that can help make him grow that can restore strength within himself so he can become victorious so this is going to it's like putting the pressure to to create the diamond, right? So this is what's happening with this this gentleman over here. Okay, so this is the reading for today. If you love this pick a card reading, uh, please write a comment below. Uh, click the like button. Remember to subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye.